Hi, I'm Jerry. Welcome to my channel. I call it JC Sagey. And to the special video on some stuff I just got in. Uh, I guess it was yesterday. Uh, and uh, I kind of gone on Ben's uh, in January and got a few things I probably shouldn't burn money on, but I did anyway because it's kind of like uh, every other thing I like to be able to do so, but just don't have the inclination. But what I did get off of Amazon was another Robo, Roblox figure. I thought it was pretty cool. And this one here is called uh, Cristello the Crystal God. I'll show you this figure. Okay. And there's a. That apparently, it has to do with the internet, a website. You have to go in and you can play on that website or something. But anyhow, here's this finger. Uh, Let me do something here. Uh, I, need, I know what. Yeah. Uh, okay, that solves that problem. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, Roblox.com. Right, here's a finger up close. Apparently what it does it lights her up a different color on the website. A finger becomes a different color. Okay. There's a cold underneath that thing. Okay. Your feet are very interesting. I can't really see your feet in there. Uh, and there's that little pathway underneath there. I thought it was a pretty cool looking finger. Right. Yeah, I got a back a little bit. Well, not really. Well, there's the back of the card. A little bit different from the other one. Okay. Here's the, uh, at least the power of the mighty crystal. The solo designed by Moral, so I was. Ancient God will stop at nothing to defend the sacred crystal from thieves. Okay. Yeah, let's see. So has some pretty neat weapons. I like weapon. Here's a like an axe. Okay. That spear or something, right? There's this thing. I'm not quite sure what this is. Must be the crystals or something. Right. She's protecting over here. Is a very interesting sword. I can't quite get a clear image of the sword. This part of it is like crystalline. You see the sword and crystal part up right here. The sword part uh, that stands from it. Okay. But that is. Uh, Chris Chell on the crystal line. I like this kind of uh, figure. It's different. A new universe, a new reality. Not to say a whole hum. And so, I hope you like it too. Anyhow, I found this on Amazon, but you can find them elsewhere as well. Walmart. And uh, you just Google it for shopping to see what happens. Okay, until, wait a minute, not, not quite done, got one more thing. I got something I've been wanting for a long time. It's, uh, uh, years ago, uh, DC brought out a comic book called, called Kena. Uh, and I, I really enjoy the story and the, uh, the character. And when this figure came out, I said, well, find you one that I thought I did her justice. 
I wanted to get it, but just didn't want to burn the money. So it came out on a discount, a little bit discount. And so I went ahead and got this. This is container. This comes with a, a bill figure for the killer croc. I'll show you that too on the back. But this is a figure. Okay, see, I'll pull her out. There's a figure. You see, because she has really long legs. Uh, has a, a sword. This interesting story with a sword is like they call it a soul tanker or something. And uh, the Maser, okay, there's a Maser of a formidable enemy on that side. And the side looks like it's the same, same kind of thing. Uh, not quite. Uh, this uh, war of the body, not war of the hand. Okay, back. Okay, okay, so that container. The Vizalanti Samurai Kintena uses her deathly mystic sword, the Soul Taker, to battle evil, a captain of the Suicide Squad. Well, she was before the Suicide Squad. She, she was independent. And, uh, uh, Colin Croc. And uh, that's different. The other ones in this uh, series of, of release that are part of the Bill and Peter thing. That shows you which one she has. But I want to open this up. And you open it not on the top, but on the side. And you can almost see them. You know, little tabs right here on the side, right? See a tab right there. There's a tape right here. So I want to open that up and open it on the side. So I'm getting a better look at this thing. And, uh, okay. There is a other tape. I think that's the only tape I see there. Yeah, I don't think they all have right there. I have here. Okay. Anyhow, let's see if I can do this. Uh, uh, get it, very good. It's kind of weird with the way they have this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, the cut, uh, right here is a, uh, Okay. Get out of side. <coughs> okay, there we are on that. Uh, up there. There's a figure. And a sword. It did kind of, uh, it kind of messed up a little bit on the paint job on her face. Uh, I'll have to try and keep going to see it in there, which is good. Uh, see if I can rectify that. But there she is. She has a hand that hands to hold her sword. Her other hands are closed. There's a killer crop thing. That's about all you get in there. Let's see. Sword I'll check out later. And there it is. Not much, uh, but you know, I need a white background or just use this background right here. Yeah. There we are. There are other figures in the assortment. Well. That many people wires out there, right? Uh, 
enjoy the storyline too and I want to make sure I got her because she's one of the few that I thought was well, well, written, well written and our peg holes at the bottom of the feet you see those yeah and good articulation apparently okay okay so regular so what you have you know single joint uh yeah the hands move all joint hair hands uh, uh up and down no waist uh but well, you have the legs and the legs and thyro upper thigh rotation and a high double joint no single joint knee yeah single joint knee and uh the foot does a regular thing just normal for this type of figure uh so you can get her to do mobile poses uh hey okay. i guess again i'll have to uh make a something for her to stand on i don't have any stands for her but i'll i'll figure out something so that's good okay, enough and Let's see. There you are. That's her. And you want to see her hand comes off very right easily. Yeah, it comes off. Well, that's pretty deep. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, the start. Okay, put a sword in the hand before put the hand in the arm. Okay, uh, uh, holds it all right. Too bad it's not two handed. Okay, uh, okay. There's a sword. It slips uh, upside down, uh, it goes like that. Ah, uh, took the whole samurai type sword. And a hand goes in there. Ah, uh, it goes in. Good. Okay, there you are. Yeah, too, it's, a, it's, it's a hilt is big enough for two hands, but I don't know if she's capable of doing it. Let's see. Yes, if she, it should be where she can hold it in both hands. It's more a more impressive uh, display. You hold it in two hands, see. That's what you're supposed to do. Be able to hold this baby in two hands. That's why the hilt is so long. And because you get a lot more force with two hands than you do with one. But anyhow, uh, that's Katina. Uh, if you see her coming your way, uh, I hope she's not looking for you. <laughs> but I'm just being silly, but that's alright. That's a pretty cool figure. I like the figure. And I like the storyline behind her. Anyhow, that's uh, that's almost 15 minutes worth. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, maybe you'll find some of these interesting uh, for your own collection. So until later, see you then.